Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Well, that's not what it looked like to me. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Was that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't... Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I... No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Luke, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Beck's dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. You could use a little downsizing. He may have been lying about the food. It's worth checking out. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. I had to kill my mom. Sounds weird when I say it out loud, huh? Luke always used to push me. I never wanted to go into business with him. I remember when he sold me on it. His big plan. Some fucking plan. Case of beer in, he just said, Nick, we're burning daylight. And that was that. After six months, we were flat broke. I didn't care. We were having fun. I wish I was like him. I wish I could just keep moving all the time. I'm just not built like that. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear, it looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He was just a guy. Yeah. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? Damn. Damn. What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. That's all I had left of him. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. said he had lots of food. There's got to be something left. <sighs> I don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Feels pretty good. I 
I guess he slept here. It's dead. I thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. Give him a break. His uncle just died. Yeah, true enough. I don't know what I'd do if I lost Beck. I'm just saying. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. That's funny. She looks just like you. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. The whole group should decide. I know you're right. It's just so hard right now. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. waiting for we have to be careful careful we've been on the road for five days my back is done being careful doesn't look like anybody's home Bam. nailed down tight I'll check around front I'll go with you well it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there Probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. And yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. Well, what am I looking for? Anyone following us. How will we know it's them? We'll know. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <laughs> oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down, just for a second, okay? Keep your voice down. But you just yelled at me. Shut up. Made it. Ah. You see anything? I can see the bridge. Wow. 
Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. W wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. What? Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? Wait, what? Is this, is this real? I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? Talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. You were the one waving a gun around, man. We're cool. Okay? Hey. Hey, we're cool. We're cool. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. 
That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. Lee and I had our differences, that's for sure. But when my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Where have you been? Oh, hell. All over after Savannah. How did you get out of there? For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita. Thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well... I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. It's a long story. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. I manage just fine. Now you really do sound like one of my students. And you sound like a teacher. I'll take that as a compliment, thank you. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? looks... great. It looks like mush. No, it doesn't. Mm-mm-mm. As an artist, there's nothing I like less than a friendly critic. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Cousin Jared's concert, October 13th, 1998. Crazy. Reminds me of school. <laughs> What's this I song you're seen humming? One of these Good since. King Wenceslas. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well. It's about a king that brings food to a poor man. 
The king and his servant march all night through a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, scoot my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage, freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good point. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Oh. Everything takes a little coaxing these days. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. What a funny little guy. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. We mostly talked about Kenny. Kenny is the loud man with the beard? Yeah, that's him. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. She looks so cool. 
beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. I haven't noticed. Oh, well, let me know if you do. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard, but at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? That food smells good, huh? It's okay. Can I? She's going to be a runner. It's not his. Well, how do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long, and, and then if Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? They seem very accommodating for a bunch of people in a big house. I trust him. With your life? I think so. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. A thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. He lost it a little after that. Lost it hat? No, well, he drinks. Oh. Well. Hey, 
Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and... I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. I want to stay with you and Kenny. Then stay you shall. I know that'll please Kenny. I missed him. And he missed you, I can assure you. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Glenn. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon, and everything will be fine. Hey, kids, what are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. 
Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine. Don't freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. I won't say anything. Okay. Okay, good. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? We have to tell you something. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. It's it's nothing, really. Forget it. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Come on, Nick, let's go find a beer or something. It's gone. Walter? I always like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then. But now? We didn't do anything. Where'd you get the knife then? We found it in the shack. Is, uh, is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? 
Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers that don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? He's... he's like everyone else. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen. He wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to get out of here. This world is hell. People like Matthew aren't coming back. This is it, and now he's gone! What did you do? Did you hurt him? Did you hurt Matthew? I didn't do anything, all right? What's going on? The storm's got it spinning out of control. That sound's gonna draw walkers. We gotta shut it down now. Nate, help me. Carry the guns. Guns? That thing's a damn dinner bell. Know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Something ain't right. Yeah. We don't have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us!
Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. in place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Oh. Rebecca! Oh. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. And Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Never my dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. We start shooting and people are gonna die on both sides. Uh -oh! Clem can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him. Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. 
me or kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get him. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. Say goodbye, Carlos. Don't look, Susie. Don't look. He's gonna kill him. Rebecca, we have to give up. Under control. <laughs> Let's just get our people home, all right? I'll try. <gasps> Kenny! Watch them. to do this but you ain't leaving me much choice so here's what's gonna happen i'm gonna march another one of your friends out here and i'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head <laughs> or you can give up now your choice hi elvin you motherfucker elvin bill no tell him to stop kenny stop you remember george alvin you see, I do. I remember a guy that was your friend named George. I remember when you murdered him in cold blood. And why? Because you didn't like me? You could have lodged a complaint. You could have... Well, you could have been civil. Bill, no! We'll do whatever you want! I love you, Beck. Bill, please! <laughs> all night. Is that what you want? Where's Luke? Finally cut and run, huh? Why am I not surprised? I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. <laughs> All right, round him up. We're heading back to camp. I don't know if we could have saved Walt, but I know one of us didn't just give up. Yeah, I know. Folks are sore over what happened. But let's remember, these are our brothers and sisters, and they all have a vital role to play in this community. They strayed from the flock, yeah. 
That don't mean they can't earn their way back into the fold. That don't mean we can't find it in our hearts to forgive them, knowing full well those who choose not to accept our love surely wish that they had.